Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where today we're going to the Ponyon District. I'm sure everybody's been looking forward to it. I certainly have. Time to go look at a bunch of boobies because the freaking game developers are always afraid to put naked men in there. But not always, sometimes. I think our origins when I had to stop in a brothel, uh, they were... They were not cowardly. They had some male prostitutes in there. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick up the fast travel point first. This is not as nice a town as other places. You know what I have to say though? I'm, j I'm just guessing. This is this is a familiar area. Pots, prostitutes, and not much. Really? Pots and prostitutes. Fascinating. They don't look as well off as other areas. Um, but no, I was trying to say that area is familiar, right outside the temple. It's where really, we see that, and we've seen it in a couple cities that have big temples where you can go and pick up offerings, like buy offerings. I'm pretty sure that's how temples also sustain themselves, or like at least the merchants in the town. Oh, a small amphitheater. I wonder if they use it. All right, one of my favorite things in game, I was gonna say, is night day cycles. Like, even if it doesn't like really change how the gameplay works, like I just really like having day night cycles. I'm a fan. I'm just a fan. Makes the world feel a bit more real. Weather, I love weather. Like. Even if I don't want to fight. What? Oh, what did I just? What? Oh my god! That that was literally like I don't even know, like half a centimeter that I was inside an area and got in trouble for it. Maybe you are. We're in the Pornian district. I'm busy. Not as many naked people as I expected. Kibiabi said the Atera here could help me find my mother. Okay. I should look around for a we're, we're in the investigation area. What? 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 Oh my gosh, what? I wish they would make it more clear. Like, I don't know. Put up a line or something so that I could see it. Oh, hey. Hello. Are you Anthusa? Me? Anthusa? I could be <laughs> any of you, lamb. I charge less than the Etera. But do I ever know my way around the hay bed? So her name means something to you? Anthusa? She's been around forever, but I never met her. I know the Etera all work as one, on equal footing, but Antosa special. She talks, they listen. So you're not Hetere? I haven't met any Etera yet. Don't believe all you hear. They sell what a lot of us sell in Corinth. But for them, it's not just about the Okay, flesh. so she's just a prostitute. They're merchants of a sort, streetwise, can talk as nice as they look. Sounds like a good trade to work in. You don't want to be an Etera? Not in my prime anymore, am I? You look great! By the time I study what they did, I'll be serving clients on my deathbed. I mean, yeah, because somebody was telling me in the comments that they're not... The hetere aren't prostitutes, necessarily. The, they're courtesans. So they're, like, educated. Like, it would actually probably be a pretty good life, like, compared to other lives, you know? Where it's, like, you're educated, like, really, really well... You get paid really well, ostensibly. You have you have more for like protection and stuff. You're not just like on the streets, you know. But again, even strong, smart women can be manipulated by a system that they don't know how to escape, you know, or are afraid to, you know, because the unknown's almost always scarier than what you do know, even if what you do know beats you every night, you know. If the Atera aren't here, where are they? Their swords are too high and mighty to be down here in the dirt with us. You want them, you'll find them upon the hill. The Acrocorinth. 
By the temple, keeping Aphrodite's worshippers satisfied. <laughs> Jeez. She fled to a safer area. Mm -hmm. They have climbed to the temple of Aphrodite up on a hill. Up there? Maybe? The biggest hill in the area. Well, could I talk to more of the people in here? So this is where the prostitutes hang out, but the hetere tend to hang out, like, uh, up higher. And this is, I don't, oh, this is the leader's house. Okay. So if I go assassinate somebody in there, it'll weaken the area. But yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, I am actually surprised at how many people are clothed. Anyway. To find a girl. Uh, so she's a, she's in a, okay, yeah, it's probably right here, alright. You know, it's one thing to be like, oh, go experiment and look around. You're asking for trouble. Um, and, and try to investigate and find where you need to go. But it's another thing when the area that you think you have to go has a big old giant question mark in it. So you don't have to spend a lot of time searching, but it's also convenient. I don't hate it. Dromos. Is it this, this river, maybe? The river, a quotation mark? Oh man, look at that statue. It is sort of rendering. That is a very sassy pose, my man. Okay, rocks, the rocks, they've ruined everything. That's from a story that I do not remember. I really need to up, the, up my game on the Greek myths. Egyptian ones too. People people are very kind and they explain some of the some things in the comments to me about Egyptian like lore, myth, and, and like ancient Egyptian, left. you know, practices and stuff. Because I'm not well versed in that, even though I'm an archaeologist. But you'd be you'd be surprised that we don't all know everything about everything. <laughs> we tend to specialize. I don't even know I don't even know nearly as much about my own area that I work in that I like. Been listening to audiobooks and stuff though to try and rectify that. The leader on top of the Acrocorinth. That's what I'm looking for. The leader is like Oh. Oh. My. The leader of the area is not at the leader house. Hey, there's a quest in here. All right, the Temple of Aphrodite might, may or may not give us the boobies. I don't mind not seeing the boobies. Wow, we are really good at rock climbing. Aha, so that's how they get down. <laughs> that's how it's how Aphrodite's worshippers Oh hello. Aphrodite's worshippers uh, get around. In the um loading screen it said something about how it was like the liberated Athenians or, or liberated Greeks and it was talking about how the Greeks generally had a very open view on sex because not only were not only were some gods like um like dedicated like solely almost to sex and like beauty and stuff, but they were also, uh, you had to like have sex a lot to please them and make sure they would grant you fertility. <laughs> so, uh, fun times, I guess, if you're into that. Yo, you have a quest for me? Oh, it, it is not, it is not you. It is not you, is it? Oh my gosh. Nice view. Oh my gosh. It just got a lot nicer. How are you? I was hoping to see you again. How did you get here? Yeah, these. What are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on <laughs> the move. I've docked my ship in every port. <gasps> I'm sure you have. If you're here for more than the view, I have a task for Why you. are you? It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. Why? Is he 
always, I feel like he's actually much smarter than he lets on. And I think there have been hints about that throughout the entire time we've known him. But, like, I feel like he's so good at playing the fool and manipulating people into doing what he wants. I'm like, is he actually a supervillain? And, like, me doing these quests for him, is it, like, it seems like little, like, asinine things. Like, oh, get somebody into Athens. Like, who maybe did something they weren't supposed to. And then he's like, everyone deserves a second chance. And it's like, either he's actually kind and trying to help out Athens and getting people a second chance, or he's undermining everything I've worked for and helping out Eclebiades, or however you say his name, is gonna screw me over big time in the end. I'll help. But it's only that little box. One should never <laughs> judge something by its size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. Uh... You said this package isn't from you. Why do you have it then? It simply came into my hands, what? that's all. The Otheros asked for my help, like I'm asking for yours now. Why can't this the Otheros deliver it himself? You're a curious one, aren't you? Some questions don't have answers. Sometimes things just are. No, no, that's not, that's not the way it works. You've traveled a lot. What's your favorite place to go? Oh, a personal question. Interesting. The world is filled with beautiful places. To pick my favorite would be like picking my favorite Etera. I could do it, but the answer changes based on my mood. Okay. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger assets. Okay. And I just... Tell him it's from you. <sighs> no, uh, from the Odoros. Don't forget, the Odoros. The Odoros. Why? Oh, Clebiades, Clebiades, you're gonna get me into so much trouble. I have, I have a terrible, terrible feeling. And how the frick did he get? I mean, I'm, you can take a boat, but Athens is like under siege right now. People aren't supposed to be able to come and go. How did he get out? And why doesn't he ever tell me anything imp like imp imp informative? He's always like super vague and like la la la. People come here to worship Aphrodite, but the view is the real Whoa. beauty. Whoa! Actually, good call though. Oh man, I'm gonna. Oh, oh I messed up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Whoop, that is not what I wanted to do. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna try to take a picture. Without panicking. <laughs> She's like, oh god. Hang on. Why won't it let me just take a picture without crouching? No, okay, it's apparently it's impossible. It's impossible. How did I do it before? I don't even know. She looks like she's like, I'm gonna get you. But no, for real. Stop. This is really beautiful. She said it twice now, so I was like, okay, I'll look. Hang on, let me get this, uh, fast travel. Oh, god. I thought it was, like, one of those areas I wasn't supposed to be in. I'm like, you can't keep me out of Aphrodite's temple. That's just me. Is that Aphrodite? Oh, the front. Ah, now we get a nice view as well. From here. You know how much work it must have taken to, like, build this up here? Like... We take so much for granted with modern machinery and like capability, but people were able to make such amazing things. Even back in the day. Especially back in the day, perhaps it's more amazing because they didn't have everything we have. Who do they think they are? What? I need to stop them. Oh, okay. Are they actually threatening people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to dodge. Actually, I'm not dodging. Dang it, I was pushing no! the button again. 
Oh, what the? Why can't I do my ability? What? They like took my ability away. Like I hadn't even used it. Okay, that was weird. I have to help these worship. No, I don't. Why am I helping the worshippers? Nobody said, please help us. For all I know, it's some weird role play. I ain't judging. Ooh, the Greeks bury. Wait, wait, wait. Bring down enemy cavalry. The Greeks bury clay pots on their land. The horses, like, sank into the very pots, breaking their legs. That's creative and cruel all at the same time. It's amazing how creatively cruel humanity can be. Who do they think they are? I need to stop them. Is that include those soldiers? Watch me. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? What is it again? What wrong button? Is this what I need to do at a later day? bounty hunters after me now, probably because I've murdered a bunch of innocent civilians. Who attacked me first? Can we just... <laughs> Jeez. I should probably trigger this event. Sorry about that. Uh, I didn't mean to kill everybody! Yeah! They think this temple is dedicated to them, the brutes. <sighs> Thieves are here, and the Etera aren't. The Etera? <laughs> They're much wiser than we are. They realized their visitors were all getting robbed on the way in. There's no avoiding the mongers' men in Corinth. Huh? 
Yeah, it is a dumb name. Who walks around with a name like the Monger? Don't let him hear you say that. Dumb name! Last time his name came out of a fool's mouth, the man's tongue was sliced out. So the Monger is a Corinthian criminal? Master of the underground markets. He rules with one hand open for money and the other clenched around a weapon. A drachmi and blood hungry monsters, what he is. So he's hunting the Atera for money? Exactly. Since the Atera bring in so much oh, drachmi, come on. he wants everything they control. He wants to be a pimp. The thieves are better off robbing them than us. But the Hetera didn't. Are they like actually like. Priestesses of Aphrodite, technically, or no? Because they should be protecting the worshippers, then. Not letting them get robbed. If you know of the Atera, then you know of Anthusa. I'm looking for her. They say she's everywhere. Though I've never seen Who her. Who is she? But the Atera see everything. I've seen them gather by the spring of Pirene, down the mountain. They meet clients there, and then take them elsewhere in secret. What? Good. Maybe pray to Aphrodite from home next time. Ah. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's so many. There's so many angry at me. Can I, is this like a temple I could actually go in or no? I hope you guys keep the place clean kind of small but you shouldn't judge a package by its size all right so down the hill and hope we don't get found out hang on let's see i should have oh i did get new things um no nope 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 so we went up the hill, now we go down the hill, and up the hill. Mene the Mark. <gasps> Mene of Pagai built her, her reputation on. Ooh, she's got a nice bow. A reputation on murder, raining death from above with nearly invisible arrows. Many call her a coward for it, but few dare to, fearing a quick death from the sky. Takes less damage from ranged attacks. She travels the world with a lion. Okay, to take on these guys, I'm apparently gonna need my own companions. I need to level up once more and get that companion ability. What's... What? Oh, it's the... the new side quest I got. I think I... Did I yeah, I was sorting them by most recent. Well, uh, usually the games... Has it changed a lot? I feel like it must have changed a lot because in the old Assassin's Creed games, you could not kill civilians. You could kill like one or two, and that was it. And then you were in big doo doo. And you would disconnect. Like, automatically, like the game would disconnect you because it was something that um, your person you were controlling or like living through. Holy freaking crap. Um, living through. Oh good, there's an underground. Maybe I can go find a different way. Um, wouldn't do. They wouldn't do this thing that you were having them do. Underground? Please? Oh, just a treasure? Oh, wow. Is this... Something that I can actually access over there? Or like a cave system somewhere? Or what? There's actually so many bounty hunters, too. Hang on, let me see. Okay, right above the fort. What I want to know, yes. I don't know if that would actually help me or if it ends. Did my bounty hunter like walk up on me? 
I was hoping they wouldn't come to this like side area, but I got far enough away from my body that I probably have to like teleport back. Oh hey, my bounty went down a little bit. Nice. Now only one bounty hunter is trying to kill me. Excellent. Okay, well, um I'm curious what No, please. I just wanna look. Outside the fort? Oh my gosh, it is. I was gonna make myself go through a whole heck of a lot of trouble for nothing. Whew! I don't have to have anything to do with this fort. Whew! Good, because those guys are way above my level. Although we do have a slight problem because my bounty hunter is on my trail. And as pretty as she is, She like senses me. I feel like this is not gonna work out the way I want it to. I wonder if those horses would actually count as a distraction. Or one of those times where I could stick a dead body. Nope, I don't have that anymore. In Origins, you could stick a dead body with poison on it into a on a horse, and then just send it into a fort and let it do its job. They call it biological warfare. It shouldn't be long now. No, it won't be. I'm sure of it. You guys are dead. Everyone has something they want. My job is to figure out how much they'll give for that something. Then Corinth will be ours again. Very soon it will return to its rightful hands. Ah, so Cassandra has finally huh? found us. What? You know me? And you know her. This is Anthusa. We saw you help the worshippers at the temple of Aphrodite. You've proven yourself a friend. Hear that, Icarus? Her sight's as good as yours. Someone also spoke very highly of you. Surprise! What are you doing here? Aspasia sent me. I work for her now, remember? But why here? Corinth isn't safe. I had to tell Antusa you were coming. Aspasia taught me a new word. Emissari. That's me. And now Cassandra and I have met. See? This is easy. And now I can help you. Uh... Crap. Um, I don't want to be, I don't want to be mean, but I don't want to be like, I don't know, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, You and I will talk about this later. I don't work for you. I work for Aspasia. Then the work she gave you should keep you busy. We need to move inside, Cassandra. We're not the only ones watching. Come with me and we'll talk. Can I come? As long as you're quiet. <laughs> She's incorrigible. Just like I probably was at that age. But still. She's not apparently impervious to fall damage like I am. What do I owe your visit? Alkiviadis told me about you. <laughs> Did he? Go on. I'm looking for a woman from Sparta. A runaway. Long ago. She may have gone by the name of Mirini. Who's that? She's my mother. Your mother? You don't have <laughs> a mother. Marcos told me he raised you. What did I tell you about talking? I see. There will be time to respond to your question, but that time isn't now. Then don't ask me what I'm here for! As long as you tell me what you know, sooner or later. You'll have to trust me. You don't get to where I stand without credibility. My word is yours. And you can always trust Cassandra. Why don't you go play, Phoebe? Let me and Anthusa talk. <laughs> you say so. Look at her sulk. I propose a trade. Help me. Help us get stronger. Strong enough to rid Corinth of the monger permanently. Sure. A simple transaction, I assume. Transaction. She has an accent. You have a deal. A wise decision. 
dear Mistios. Like I'm more I of an accent. I made it this far being a fool. I know when to take a chance. Ha 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 ha! With repartee. Then we're in business now. You've heard of the Mongol? Yeah, dumb name. From what the worshippers say, he's someone I should watch out for. They're right. I'm sure his victims wish they'd been more vigilant. My eyes are wide open. Then you've held your ground well. You're not dead. Not yet, anyway. But he's employed enough thugs to amass a small army. Now they're attacking people in the street, us included. He's been killing at Terra? Killing? We're smarter than that. <laughs> but action must be taken before it goes that far. I'm not the only one who needs help. My girls, the Malis and Irina, are suffering too. More Mongol trouble? Your daughters? I wouldn't doubt it. Work against their aggressors, and then it will be his turn to suffer. You'll find the Malis here at the spring, but Irina has gone to Bellerophon's garden. What's wrong with Irina? She's looking for Cleo, another Etera, who's gone missing. I've been too distracted to help in the search. Are they like her actual daughters or like her sisters in, you know, Hetere business? Has the Marlies told you what's wrong? She hasn't told me much, but I know these girls as well as I know myself. Something's not right. You have to tell me more than that. You, you, what, what do you mean? I can't just, some random stranger can't walk up to her. I mean, maybe she'll be impressed with my biceps and think I can do things that you can't, but you're definitely smarter than I am. I'll see what I can do for them. Good. The monger feeds his thugs. With a drachmi, he makes smuggling. Weapons, mostly. Which is all the more lucrative now that he has a war to supply. So, if someone interrupts uh -huh. the monger's supply, his men go hungry. Exactly. Go to his warehouse in the port of Lecheo and burn his cargo. Whoa. All of it. We'll let chaos take care of the rest. I like her a lot. Why rob people who can't put two drachmi together if he has a business? It's illegitimate, but gets him rich. Even this smuggling is a front. Oh. He steals slaves, innocents, who shouldn't be harmed, but his thugs can burn. Ooh, okay, jeez. Like, it, 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 I think it's, it's not about being wealthy when it gets to that point. It's about a power move, right? He, like, has to show everybody that he can take... Everything you own, your life, your loved ones, everything. It's just a power move. It's not about being wealthy anymore. Once you've gotten fairly wealthy, then it gets to the point where it's like, just you want to show off your power in other ways. And for most people, it tends to be cruelty. It seems to me that burning his biggest source of income is asking for trouble. I want to put the new muscle I've acquired oh. on show. Plus, violence is the only language he understands. She's dressed very I know nice. many people who speak that language. I speak that language? I am a mercenary. Then the warehouse will be cinders. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I can do that. She's very pretty. I like her dress. Her outfit, it's very similar to uh, what everybody else is kind of wearing in this area. But I know, I know, I know she's close. Oh my gosh, she's right of my head. No. Oh, I'm technically in the fort, so I can't save. Okay. Anyway, I should probably call it here for now. Uh, you're. I wonder. Oh, maid. Can we like? Can we like hang out afterwards, or is that like inappropriate? You're probably busy. <laughs> you're probably busy. <laughs> but anyway, I think I'm gonna have to call this one here. I was. This was not what I expected. We were not visiting a brothel. Even the Porneon area, which is where the prostitutes were, uh, wasn't that bad. So, apparently, they have standards. I remember reading, anyway, that in Greek, like, in Greece, like, as much as they say they were sexually liberated, they also had some weird ideas sometimes about women. Like, you're, you apparently almost never saw a fully naked woman statue, whereas you'd see naked man statues all the time. But a woman would always be clothed in some sort of, you know, extremely sheer garment that may as well have not been there, but it was, like, there as a proprietary measure. So maybe they don't even let their prostitutes run around, like, being half-naked. Of course, it is a different environment, too. Egypt's, like, friggin' hot. And, like, anywhere that's hot, you get a lot of outfits where, like, a woman's chest is often bare, you know? Where it's, like, really hot like that. 
here in Greece, I think the weather's a little bit, a little bit more variable. A little bit more. Not as hot. At least most of the time. But anyway. Interesting, uh, tangents aside. Excuse my yawn. Thank you all for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying. And I hope to see you in the next one.